My name is Sergeant Buddy and I'm one of the instructors here at our academy here today to talk to each and every one of our wonderful driving associates about the importance of the pre-trip inspection of the commercial motor vehicle. So in that, you're gonna to wanna to change your duty status to on duty. So when you go to on duty, you're gonna do a pre-trip inspection of the motor vehicle. You're gonna go out and you're gonna do that pre-trip. You're gonna come back into the vehicle and then you're gonna document that by going to the electronic vehicle inspection report, otherwise known as the EVIR. When you go to that app, please make sure that you scan the asset tag. Once you scan the asset tag, then you go through all the process and the procedure of recording the pre-trip inspection and its defects or not. The reason for doing the pre-trip properly and when you're looking at each of the components on the vehicle, whether it's the brakes, the lights, the tires, those are the three big ones that law enforcement or DOT officials are gonna be looking at. We're gonna talk about some of the braking components here in, in the brake chamber area, okay? So what you're gonna see here is the airline. This is the brake chamber, the brake chamber clamp, the push rod, and the slack adjuster. All of these components, you need to know that they have to be working and functioning properly. We're gonna talk about the brake drum. The brake drum and the brake shoes. We all know that the brake drum and the brake shoes, they need to be properly mounted and secured, not crack damage or missing. They also need to be free of debris and they're not oil soaked. Regarding your brake shoes, we all know that need to be less than a quarter, not less than a quarter of a pad remaining on the brake shoe. Okay, let's talk about tires now. The tire, as we all know, needs to be properly mounted and secured, not cracked, damaged, or leaking, or missing. So what we want to do with the tire is we want to make sure that the tire has even tread wear all the way around the tire. We want to make sure that the sidewalls on either side are in good working order, and they don't have any abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Now, a lot of us want to use a device that looks like this, your hammer, as a thumping tool. We do not want to thump the tire. The best way to check the PSI on your tire is to use a gauge. Our gauge has to be at 110 PSI or manufacturer specification. We all know that DOT regulations say at 84 PSI we're considered flat. Night, we want to run it at 110. At 110, if you subtract 22% of 110, that's 86 PSI. Okay, so we're above that threshold. So you want to use the gauge for the PSI. Do not use a tire thumper. And then if you're gonna check the tread depth, this is a tread depth gauge. This is how we're gonna use it. Put it in and you'll be able to read what that gauge tells you. We all know on the steer tire, it should be no less than four thirty seconds of an inch. And then on the other tires, whether it's gonna be the drives or the trailer, it should be no less than two thirty seconds of an inch checked with a gauge. As you all know, we also need to make sure that the rim, the rim is properly mounted and secure, it's not cracked, damaged, or missing, and it's free from kind of any illegal welds and or drill holes. Also, the lug nuts. You need to make sure each one of the lug nuts are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, damaged, or loose, or missing. How do we know that they're loose? You're gonna see shiny threads and or rust trails. If you're seeing shiny threads, that's new or loose. If you're seeing rust trails, well, you didn't catch it in time. That means it's been loose for a little while. Okay guys, let's talk about the lights. So here at CDL School, we always do the lights. So we're gonna start from the top and work our way down. So you're gonna notice the clearance lights. Please guys, make sure that your clearance lights are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, damaged, or missing, and that they're the proper color. So we all know we have clearance lights up top. We got headlights down below. We got marker lights on the side. And make sure that you're saying that they're the proper color. They need to be white in color for the headlights. The marker lights on the side, they're probably going to be two colors, either amber or red. We also have tail lights on the back of the tractor, and we have tail lights on the back of the trailer. Please make sure that you mention if any of the things that have any defect, and make sure that you're uh, submitting that information properly on your electronic vehicle inspection report, and that is get sent to your driver manager, and make sure that we do a proper pre-trip and that it is documented. Well, thank you for guys very much for watching the video. We really appreciate your time. And as always here at night, especially CDL school, we want you to be safe. We want you to go home for your families. Uh, as you know, you're out here working hard for them and we appreciate you. Just please remember, brakes, lights, and tires. Please make sure you document. Please make sure you keep up with your CSA score. That's very important. It affects you and not only the company, but at the end of the day, 
you know, we all have a job to do and we want to do it safe. And thank you very much for watching the video. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to reach out to us here at CDL School. Thank you.